Hey there, my name is April Sawtell and welcome to my channel. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making these scrap Christmas stockings. I'm going to show you how to do that. I made the stockings behind me a couple of years ago and I kept all of the scraps, but I wasn't sure if I had enough to do another stocking. So my daughter had sent over the tree skirt that I had made her when I did these, when I did make these stockings and she said I could cut this up if I didn't have enough to make the stocking for the new baby. Luckily I did. So what I did was I took all of my scrap fabrics that from when I made this and I'll tell you what else we're going to need for this project. What you're going to need for today's project is just an iron. You're going to need some rulers for cutting. You're going to need a rotary cutter, some scissors. You're going to need a marking tool, some pins. I've also got my chopstick here so when I turn my fabric out I can push my seams out and you will need a bunch of scraps. Okay, let's get started. What you're gonna need is a big pile of scraps. You're gonna need a piece of batting. I used a batting scrap. You're gonna need a piece of backing. I'm just tracing around with my marking pen around the stocking. I'm going about a half an inch more than what I need. My backing fabric's gonna be face down as you can see here on the stocking. That way I can turn it later. I'm gonna pin that all together I've traced around my stocking. I'm gonna cut it out. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start taking all of my scrap pieces. I've already ironed them, and all I wanna do now is take them and just kind of line them up. I need them to be about the size of the stocking. I want them bigger, and bigger than the stocking because I'm gonna cut out the stocking after it's all sewn together. I'm gonna to put right sides together when I sew these pieces together, I'm just gonna make like one long strip. Here, I'm just gonna take my stock in and I'm gonna put that on top to make sure it is gonna fit. I'm just gonna sew a quarter of an inch on my sewing machine here. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep adding the strips. I'm gonna finger press them after each time I've made a strip, added, added a strip to it. And then just continue to do that all the way down and just give it a finger press. I've lined up my strips just the way I kind of wanted them. I played around with them a little bit. I'm going to give it a quick press and I'm going to lay down the stocking with the batten on top of a piece that's going to be the inside. That's going to be the pieces that I'm going to quilt together and that'll be inside of the stocking. So now I'm just going to lay this whole thing down on top of the strips, make sure it fits, and I'm going to cut around it. I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take the inside, the batten, and the top, and they're, they're going to be wrong sides together. So it's face up and face down. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start quilting it together. Now I didn't put any pins in here. You could put pins if you wanted to. And I'm just sewing down about a half an inch all the way down the whole stock in. So you can see here, I'm gonna do that half an inch and then I'm gonna come over half an inch and I'm just gonna continue to fo follow my presser foot along the stitch line and that's gonna give me that um, line quilting look that I'm going for here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add, this is gonna be the back of my stocking. That's gonna be face down on top of my face up the inside of my stocking. So they're right sides together. Now I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna snip all, all of the corners here. I need to make it so all the corners have a little slice. Now you don't wanna cut into your seam though, so be very careful of that. It's just gonna help when I go to turn it. I'm gonna cut off any excess fabric here that is overhanging. Just be careful not to hit your stitches. I'm gonna cut this off here at the end because that just was extra. Um, I don't need that on the stocking. And I'm just going to give it a quick, I'm gonna put my hand inside of it and I'm gonna grab the bottom, pulling out the hole inside of the stocking. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna push out all the seams. I'm gonna use my chopstick and I'm gonna push out the seams as well with the blunt edge. And now what I'm doing, I'm just finger pressing out all of the seams again. I just really want it to lay nice and flat. I will give it a good press later. I'm just gonna cut a piece of fabric 
16 and a half inches by five inches. I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm just gonna give it one quick seam down and then I'm gonna fold the whole thing in half. That's gonna be the top of my stocking. What I need to do here, I need to take the seam and line it up with the seam and it needs to match on both sides. It's inside of the stocking. I'm gonna put some clips. I'm going seam to seam. And then I'm gonna put a clip on each end. I'm gonna put one each spot in the middle. I'm taking a piece of fabric that's two and a half inches by five inches, and I'm just gonna sew that right in half. That's gonna be the handle. I'm gonna take my pin here, my safety pin, put it through the edge, and I'm going to feed that right through so I can pull that right out into a tube. I'm going to pull it right around my safety pin to put it right back to right side so it's the right side out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take and I'm going to give that a little finger press and I'm going to take that to the iron and press it. I'm gonna take that, fold it in half, and stick it up through where I just put my clips in. That's gonna be the top of my um, stocking. I'm looking at the other stocking to see how I did it because now I'm not following a pattern. I'm using the so stocking that I had made two years ago. So I need to put this pin, I mean, I need to put this handle right inside underneath where I'm putting that top. So I'm gonna bring that up and I'm gonna grab a hold of it and I'm gonna pull it up a little higher than where you can see here where the stocking ends and where that meets. I want it a little bit higher so I'm sure to sew over it. I'm gonna hold all my fabric back now and I'm gonna be sure not to go over my clips. I'm gonna pull them out as I go and I'm sewing a quarter of an inch all the way around the inside of my stocking. I've got all the raw edges are face out, okay? So make sure that your raw edges are facing out on everything that you're doing here. So I'm gonna keep pulling the clips out as I go, do my quarter of an inch, and I wanna keep adjusting my fabric because I don't wanna sew over anything that's underneath here. So you wanna be real careful. Now I'm at my handle. And what I need to do is I put the handle as far to the left as I could, and I did put it on the top. You can put your handle anywhere. Um, I put it to the far, as far left, to the, close to the seam as I could possibly get it. And I'm gonna do a triple stitch here. I'm going back and forth a few times. I want that to be super, super strong. And I'm just gonna continue the rest of the way around. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the extra off where the handle was, pull it all over, and I'm gonna just press it down, pushing that seam up with my fingers and giving it a good, good, good press. I'm gonna give this a super good press all the way around. And I wanna make sure all the seams are pressed out so it's nice and flat. thing left to do now is put the name on top of the stocking and my daughter's going to do that with a Cricut. She did the names on all of the other stockings as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time and remember to keep it simple. Have a nice day. Bye.